Trina was a student at PS 118. She was often seen in the background and didn't have many lines, but with that said, there was actually quite a bit of information one could gather from just those few instances where we saw her in action. Look you guys, I got a new scam! If you squint real hard, it looks like Texas! That's nice, Sheena. The crusty part is the Alamo! That's disgusting. But first, let's take a look at Sheena's signature look. Sheena's look consisted of her medium length straight brown hair, a long green shirt with a red flower on it, light blue pants, and white shoes. She had a triangle shaped head, a long nose, and was quite tall and thin. In fact, Sheena was much taller than both the boys and girls in her grade. She was often seen with the other fourth grade girls, such as Rhonda, Nadine, Katrinka, Phoebe, and Helga. However, because Sheena was considered to be one of the geeks in her grade, she was also frequently seen with Eugene and Brainy as well. Sheena's geek status is evident in season 2 episode 16 titled Rhonda's Glasses. No offense, but you belong in the back with the rest of the geeks. A fun fact about Sheena is that she may have been Jewish. This is because in the season 2 episode titled Harold's Bar Mitzvah, Sheena recognizes Hebrew writing when no one else did. What in the name of Carmen is this? What's Harold doing? Learning Chinese? That's not Chinese, Gerald. It's Hebrew. What does it say in Hebrew? Bar Mitzvah. It says Bar Mitzvah. Sheena was a very cheerful character. I can't believe I'm actually gonna play Juliet. Her distinctive, high-pitched voice, together with her positive demeanor, made her seem like a very gentle and kind person. In Season 3, Episode 20, titled School Play, this idea is supported because Sheena reveals that she is against violence. We haven't actually gotten through the whole play yet. Well, let me tell you, it's a humdinger, especially all the violent parts. Violent parts? Are you kidding? Romeo and Juliet is loaded with violence. Real blood and gut stuff, sword fights, rotting corpses. Well, I, I've always been against violence. Just the sight of blood makes me queasy. You're kidding. Well, you know about the end, right? She's in a crypt. You know, a mausoleum full of dead, rotting corpses and bats. And then she takes this big, sharp, rusty dagger and she holds it up high over her head and then... Oh, it's great. Real bloody violent stuff. Um, you know, Helga, I'm not sure I'm the right girl for Juliet. Her peace over war stance and her prominent flower on her shirt has led to speculation that Sheena is the daughter of hippies. In season 5, episode 8, we actually got to see who Sheena's parents were. So, what do you think? Were Sheena's parents hippies? Other than Sheena's parents, we were also introduced to her aunt, the school nurse, Shelly, and her uncle Earl who owned a rowboat. While Sheena had many friends, it is suggested that she may have had a special interest in Eugene. This is evident in Season 5, Episode 16, titled Married. In the episode, Rhonda predicts that Sheena will marry Eugene, and, well, her reaction says it all. What's your lucky number three? One, two, three. That means conclusively that according to my foolproof origami marriage Eugene, on the other hand, wasn't as thrilled. Oh, well, gosh, I'm, I'm sure we'll be very happy. <laughs> While this news may seem like a surprise, throughout the series, there were actually instances where we saw the pair together. For example, in Season 3, Episode 12, titled Cool Party, Sheena is seen playing what appears to be maracas while Eugene dances right beside her. In addition to playing the maracas and dancing, Sheena also enjoyed singing. I know, how about a song? We're rats, we're rats, we're furry and forlorn. We live in sewers, love in sewers, and our hearts are torn. Acting and building set designs for plays. 
Even though Sheena was only nine years old, she displayed leadership qualities that few characters on the show seem to have. For example, in the episode Helga's Show in the series' third season, Sheena is shown to be independently running the refreshment stand, the Cocoa Hut. Come on, just one more Cocoa Chino! My last one, I promise! I'm sorry, Chocolate Boy, but I'm going to have to cut you off! Again, this time in the episode Sid and Germs, in the show's fifth season, we see Sheena take a leadership role as the host of a frog catching event. My favorite episode that features Sheena was titled Rhonda's Glasses, which I had also mentioned earlier. This is because here we really got a sense of who Sheena really was. In this episode, Rhonda needed medical attention, so Sheena immediately took her to see her aunt. In Please don't touch me, Sheena. I'm not one of you. The fact that she was so quick to help Rhonda, even though the fashionista was quite rude to her and her friends, showed just how mature and caring she truly was. Well, that is it for my Hey Arnold character analysis of Sheena. I saw, I saw. What did you think of Sheena? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, if you're on Instagram, you can follow me to find memes all about the 90s and early 2000s. Until next time, my friends, dialing out.